this month, as is the tradition in churches all across America, we are focusing some time and some intention around the theme of stewardship. And so I just want to pause for a moment and ask the question, when you hear stewardship, what comes to mind? Doesn't matter what it is, just shout it out. Money. Money. Stuart Little. <laughs> I don't know about that, but yeah, what else? Care of the earth. What was that, Al? Serving. Serving. Work. work. Like work or like work. Okay, work. Okay. Anything else come to mind? Well, I want to say that I, I know from my own experience and probably from yours that a lot of times churches use stewardship as sort of a cue, right? For give us your pledge and tithing. Yeah? Have you ever experienced that? So that you know um, what I really mean by stewardship is bust out your checkbooks. But I want to say this morning that uh, we're not going to do that right now. Right? So I want you to know right now that this is not building up towards the pledge card coming into your mailbox. This is not building up to a big ask. It really is about a time for us to think about what this guy, random man, Clarence Stoughton said, Stewardship is everything that comes after you have said yes to Jesus. Stewardship is everything that comes after you have said yes to Jesus. Now that's a huge thing, right? Because it's all of our lives. So during these next four weeks, we want to intentionally open time for that reflection. And because Bert, our consummate lay leader of the California Nevada Annual Conference, mentioned the different things like presence, like prayers, like service and witness, like our gifts a couple of weeks ago, we're going to use that as a way to begin to reflect, how am I using my presence? And what I want to say is just to call your attention to this little part in your messenger, if you might open it up, right next to the view from the EMC chair, and above the happy birthday cake, I want to invite you to actually take time each week to maybe think about these questions. And one of the things that I was really gifted by um, was just the sense that um, how do we get in touch with stewardship as a response to what God has already done and is doing in us, for us, and with us, right? It's a response. It's not the beginning. And so today we're focusing on presence. And so I've invited folks to bring pictures and or objects. I didn't say objects, so if you brought an object, excellent. But pictures of people who have given you the gift of presence that have been a saint of sorts in your life. And I'm wondering, would you raise your hand if you, you saw that email, you thought about it, and you might have even brought a picture? Henry asked me if he could be Superman. <laughs> and the answer is yes, but no. <laughs> um, so uh, great. And I'm wondering if those folks that have raised their hand, if anybody would be willing to share a story of that person, whether you brought a picture or not. Don't be shy, friends. I will go first. <laughs> so um, because I have the privilege of creating the altar, um, I actually pulled out uh, my favorite picture of my grandmother that sits on the highest rung of a bookshelf in my kitchen, always. Um, and these are very old pictures of her. The one on the bottom is her and her brother. And I think the gift of presence is... Um, over time, you'll hear me talking a lot about my grandmother, but she is one of those women who, um, for all of my life, I knew, I knew she loved God. It's no question. No question at all. And every time I would call her, even though our faith lives are radically different, at the end, she would always say this, I will be praying for you. And for the longest time, I was kind of like, okay, thank you, Grandma. Right? It didn't mean anything to me until I started struggling. And I came to understand that there was a saint, a person of witness, that was in prayer with me and for me all 
all the time. And that has, in fact, made a lot of difference in my life. She passed on a number of years ago, but I still remember her. Are there others that you would like to lift up? So I know there are a lot of stories out there, and I give thanks to Hong An and Brenda. And for the people that remain unnamed, could I invite you to just think of them for a moment now, to call their names in your mind. And we know that it is in the gift of presence that we can remember these people, and we feel it in our bodies, that we are reminded what it might be to give that back, to be in service with our presence. And so during this coming week, I invite you to really reflect on presence and how you might be generous with your presence, how you might be a steward of your presence, having said yes to our Lord Jesus Christ. So I invite you into a moment of prayer. Donna, were you getting ready to share? Okay, sounds good. Would you like to put the picture on the whole All right. You will have other opportunities to place pictures on the altar. That is not the only one today. So thank you, Don. Let us pray. You who are 
steadfast in your presence with us. You who walk beside us, surround us and encompass us in each moment. You who we call the great companion. We give thanks for the ways that we have been accompanied throughout our lives by your spirit, by the spirit of the saints, and by light all around. And so we pray, O oh God, this morning that we might come to a new place in thinking about how our presence is a gift and a source of life to others. We pray in the name of Jesus the Christ, our friend and companion. Amen. <laughs>